A cold wave warning is issued for most parts of the nation, with the mercury plummeting to 15 degrees Celsius below zero in certain regions. It's by far the most bone chilling time of this winter. Lee Jung Yin helps us paint a clearer picture of the freezing condition. A cold wave is wreaking havoc in South Korea this week. On Wednesday morning, Seoul saw temperatures drop down to minus 16 degrees Celsius, the lowest it's been so far this winter. And due to the icy winds, the temperature is estimated to be minus 23 degrees after wind chill. The extreme cold broke water meters, caused problems with car engines, and disrupted subway operations. Even with the sun at its peak, it's not that much warmer in the afternoon, with highs of around minus 10 degrees Celsius. So where is this cold coming from? The current temperatures are attributed to the cold air from the north of Mongolia, which is as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. This air is blowing into the Korean Peninsula. The wind is almost painful against bare skin, and my kid's face is all red from the cold. I heard that today is uh, one of the coldest day and very freezing, and I can feel like sick. A cold wave warning has been issued in the capital as well as parts of Gyeonggi-do, Gangwon-do, and Chungcheong-do provinces. This warning is issued when the morning lows dip at least 15 degrees from the previous day to under 3 degrees, and when they're 3 degrees below the annual average. It can also be issued when morning lows stay below minus 15 for two consecutive days. The government has issued electricity demand reduction measures for the third time this year and 14th time since their creation in 2014. It asks that the power exchanges and factories reduce their electricity usage. This comes after the extreme cold at the end of last year that led to a record-breaking demand for electricity. Temperatures may continue to be low until next week, but experts forecast that the current conditions are likely to be the coldest it'll get this winter. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.